If we can suppress this Murden, we can invade into the Empire, right? I was in the Empire. Now, I will be an enemy. I am having strange feelings. It is with ease that an ally turns into an enemy. Rodrigue seems reliable, but even with his help, aren't we still a little short-handed? We can probably make it to the Great Bridge of Murden, but beyond that, I don't know. Don't let Dimitri push you too much, Professor. It'll shorten your life for sure. Well, Lord Gwendol was pretty tough. If only he'd been on our side, he would have been a great ally. But it was Lord Gwendol himself who made the decision to throw his lot in with the Empire alongside his liege. I will neither pity him nor mourn for him. It would be an insult to his honor to follow the path of justice as long as life endures. That is the duty of a Knight of Farkas. War isn't kind to you if you're a recluse. By the time you realize what's going on, you're already under attack. And if you're off by yourself, you can get killed with no one ever even finding out. Won't that be awful? Just terrible! Okay, Professor, I get it. I know I'll have to come out. he's on our side. I know everything will be fine if we leave it to him. He may act like a layabout, but he's actually smart. And although Claude isn't honest about some things, you can trust him when it counts. Yeah, he'll do us proud. That's just my gut feeling, but still.
area around Castle Gaspar, where I was living, is under the control of House Roll, who have submitted to the Umpire. If I hadn't come to Garrig Mach, I might have ended up as your enemy at ALL. That thought makes me really happy to be here now. I don't think I would have been able to handle facing all of you in battle. Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Lord Rodrig is revered by all as the Shield of Fargus. I was imagining a more stern-faced fellow, but he's actually quite friendly. Shocking. I heard that he recently spent the night drinking in the dining hall with soldiers from the church. I need your help. Unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about aside from my great deals. Welcome! Come back soon! Hello there. This one, yes? I thank you. 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 Return soon, please. Oh. Okay. Yeah! I've been away from Garrick Mach for a while. But I came back when I heard the rumors of what you were doing. The scars of five years ago may still be raw, but it's nice to be back. Anyway, I'm going to start up business here again, so I look forward to your patronage. Hmm. Oh. Oh. What? Leaving the house in my uncle's hands? What is the old man thinking? I always knew my father was mad, but this time he's gone too far. My uncle is a reliable man, but still, only a fool would abandon his own territory. Hmm. From the outset, House Regan and House Gloucester have been fighting over leadership of the Alliance. Then this war comes along. And their opinions are split about whether to ally with the Empire or not. Their existing enmity only worsened, leading them to full-on conflict with one another. However, the leader of the Alliance is a very shrewd man. It's difficult to predict what he'll do at this point. On the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden lies the territory of Acheron of the Alliance, and to the south, the Empire's Burglies territory. Count Burglies has held the position of Minister of Military Affairs for the Empire ever since the days of Emperor Ionius. The current Emperor seems to have brought the corrupt nobility to heel, but Count Burglies looks to be an exception. What used to be Iyer territory lies far to the east of the Great Bridge of Murden downstream of the Aramid River. For the sake of my family, I wish we could invade the Empire from there. But I do not have the power to advocate for that. Strategically, Murden is more important. Thank you, Professor. I will not give in. Not until I have restored my noble pride.
Oh, House Regan accepted. I knew the leader of the Alliance couldn't refuse. Still, we can't let our guard down. There's no telling when he'll turn on us. If we advance through the Alliance into the Empire, our chances for reconnaissance will be limited. I just hope it goes according to plan. Do you really think it's a good idea to trust Claude? If you let yourself get taken in by his silver tongue, you might wind up regretting it. The thing is, uh, five years ago, I was taken in by his tricks myself. I was given a long and grueling lecture by my unit leader that day. Ugh, the memory of it is still too painful. <laughs> I'm sure you know this already, but House Ordelia is aligned with the Empire. They face the Empire from across a river, similar to the Gloucesters. Even so, I refuse to yield to the Empire a second time. The Empire did unthinkable things to my family, and to me. The only option here is winning. Professor, you must promise we will overcome the Empire. Looks like we're all set for food supplies, thanks to Lord Rodrigue. We have more soldiers to feed now, so we'll still need to ration. But I think we have enough extra to make some tasty treats. I'll go scout the pantry. We can enjoy it together over some tea. I have some Let me consider. How the meal... Oh. I finally got to eat a full meal for the first time in forever. And it's all thanks to Lord Rodrigue. I've got so much energy. Let me at that great bridge of Murden. I'll bust it down myself! Oh, but then how do we cross? <laughs> I thought House Fraldarius had an invasion of their own to worry about. I'm impressed Lord Rodrigue was willing to provide us all these reinforcements and supplies. The Knight's morale is really boosted, seeing as they have had their first good meal in a while. Let's hope we can keep this up and take down the Great Bridge of Murden. Even after all these decades, the Academy hasn't changed a bit. I remember it well, even now. I used to sneak out of lectures with Lambert almost every day. I suppose this is not the time for an old man's nostalgia. We have received approval from House Regan. We should set out as soon as you're ready. brings back all manner of memories. The days I spent studying here with you and everyone else. Those days were so special to me. They were truly some of the warmest days of my life. I hold them dear in my heart. And now, to be forced to fight with those I was once so close to, my friends, it is most saddening.
Randall made the ultimate sacrifice in service of House Row. I understand that feeling. I'd do anything for Lady Rhea. I'm surprised. I didn't peg you as the kind of person to say that sort of thing. At any rate, it's up to the individual how to demonstrate loyalty. The Aramid River separates the Empire and Alliance. It's the largest river in Fodland. Sometimes it'll flood when there's lots of rain, but... At least the land gets some extra water. I had an encounter with Lord Gwendol. How many years ago was it? Back before the Academy, I met this girl who I fell madly in love with. And her dad tried to kill me. I suppose he just tried to scare me. But I was sure I was gonna die. Oh yeah, her dad? Lord Gwendol. Crazy, right? I never thought I'd seriously be trying to kill the guy in battle. I kind of don't know how to make sense of it. Hello there. Hey. Just like House Braldarius, House Galatea is currently being invaded by the dukedom. My family is not as wealthy as most others, so we are incapable of sparing resources or reinforcements. I'm sorry. It's just so frustrating not being able to do anything to help. My adoptive father is planning on supporting the Regan family in the upcoming operation. He says it's the perfect opportunity to get both the Alliance and the Kingdom on his side. He even insisted that I promote the good name of House Edmund to the people of the Kingdom. You'll see right through me if I lie, so I can't ignore the request. But I suppose I did just tell you, so that must count for something. Hmm. Professor! We were raised by Lord Rodrigue himself to be the elite of the elite. Even if our enemy is the Empire's vast army, we can overcome the difference in numbers. The one thing that could prove to be a problem is if our food and supplies don't hold up. If we attack the Imperial Capital before the Kingdom Capital, we'll have to be swift if we want to prevail. What the? Lady Rhea must be so scared. We gotta find her quick as we can. We got reinforcements from the Kingdom people now, right? Then we ought to be able to go save her. Professor, did you need something from me? It doesn't look like you're wounded or anything. Are you just looking for someone to talk to? I thought so. Well, I'm here for you. Making you feel better is my top priority. Whether it's physical pain or worries of the heart, you can come to me for anything, Professor. at ALL was a tactical marvel. You grow stronger with each passing day. Where does your talent end and your crest's power begin? Are they one and the same, I wonder? Most intriguing. Yet, it is quite difficult to draw useful conclusions given the situation. It is quite unfortunate I did not achieve my research goals before the war broke out. 
so much unknown. Now, I fear I will not have those answers even by conflict's end. So very frustrating. We're going to invade the Empire, which means we'll be fighting people we know, won't we? If we're attacked by someone we know or used to think of as a friend, is it permitted to run away? Really? If something happens, will you keep me safe? Next, we face the Great Bridge of Murden. We actually crossed it a long time ago. Do you remember? It was five whole years ago. It seems like so long ago, doesn't it? It's odd how fast time flies. Everyone was still friends then. After the fighting, we all ate together without splitting into our separate houses. I often wish we could go back to those peaceful days. So, the renowned Shield of Fargus is now on our side. That is quite reassuring. Not only will he provide valuable support in battle, but he has also brought us much needed supplies. We cannot grow complacent, however. We must take the Imperial capital as soon as possible. Since I'm originally from the Empire, it seems no one trusts me with any important tasks. Fine by me. Honestly, I bet they're watching my every move to make sure I can be trusted. I knew it. War makes people crazy, huh? The Great Bridge of Murden isn't just a bridge, it has the features of a fortress. I believe it was built for military purposes by the first leader of the Adrestian Empire. In other words, it's even older than the monastery. So if we occupy the Great Bridge, we'll have to search it from top to bottom. House Fraldarius is a military house. They swore fealty to the royal family at the kingdom's founding. The current family head, Lord Rodrig, was raised like a brother to the former king. He harbors a loyalty that goes beyond mere duty. Perhaps this is why he was willing to lend us his aid. I have a request. I have a request. House Fraldura, the Kirby Harbors.
you stand in my way, I will strike you down. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. Singing is not look good. Practice makes perfect. Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Some kingdom noble called Rodrigue has been footing the bill to feed the people of Garrig Mach, feeding the hungry with his own gold. Just wow! Even the folks down here have been getting a share of the provisions. Needless to say, this Rodrigue guy is popular these days. We're all very grateful. leg in the last battle had to take shelter down here nowhere else to go be careful up there all sides are bringing their strongest people to this fight not sure what brought people back up above but i'm glad for it the dining hall the greenhouse they're all ripe for the picking again uh i mean for them good for them Again soon. Professor. I hear Claude's gonna fight the good fight with us. <laughs> Not a bad ally to have, that one. Something about him is untrustworthy, but from what I hear, he's a man who keeps his promises. Uh, sort of. We're both alliance nobility, and we've crossed paths a handful of times these past five years. I honestly have no clue what will happen after we cross the bridge. <laughs> Invading the Empire at last, are we? I cannot still the wild palpitations in my chest. I have made myself ready to the extent that I could, but now that the day draws near, I fear that to proceed will be to abandon all hope of restoring the Imperial House of Nouvelle. However, if we succeed in defeating the Empire and rebuilding the Kingdom, I may yet achieve my dream.
that sorcerer who runs the kingdom capital. Cornelia is her name, yeah? The woman who kidnapped me was called that too. But it's probably just a coincidence. Super common name. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting a Cornelia, right? Yeah. Who'd have thought that House Row would show up? They must have been sweating blood to get to Ayla from way up there. Guess it's been a while since I left House Row, so it doesn't bother me much to have to fight them. Kinda always knew I'd be the one to take that stubborn old donkey out. I've been ready for this. Kingdom fell. If that's true, why are there kingdom soldiers right above us? Do you know what's going on? That's so. Sounds like a good business opportunity. Thanks for the tip. Time to rake in some gold. Hello there. Come back soon now. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. This is delicious! My absolute favorite!
This food is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. I would be liking that greatly. That looks appetizing. That looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Sorry to keep you waiting. How long did you expect me to stand here? I did just say sorry, but I could say the same to you. You were pretty slow to settle on a time. I can't help having a busy schedule. Plus, I thought you could use the extra time to prepare. We could go back and forth like this all day, or we could get started. <laughs> you were the one who kept me waiting. Let's begin. On my signal? Hurry up. That's better. Okay, go! Let's see what you... Huh? Oh, a pit trap? That's right. How you feeling down there? Coward! Say what you want, but Captain Gerald taught me this one. <sighs> You're heavier than you look. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting that. If this were for real, you'd be dead. Aren't you glad I put straw down there instead of spikes? Yes. I underestimated you. I suppose your lateness was a ploy to distract me. You're not wrong. I did it to rile you up. Draw you in. You're capable, confident. I was counting on that. So, what do you think about Captain Geralt's training now? His technique worked and you won. What else is there to say? Winning is all that matters. You drew my attention to a major vulnerability. I'll need to be wary of traps. Thank you, Leone. Seeing as you're thanking me, can I ask you a favor? Will you come watch my next training session? I'd like a few pointers about fighting in close quarters. The loser must pay tribute, I suppose. Yes, I'll help you train. You will? Thanks! This looks delicious. Let's eat. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Pardon me, Professor. I am happy to accept your invitation, but... Well, to tell you the truth, I'm at a loss as to what I should talk about. What's 
wrong, Father. I didn't expect you to summon me. I carved this on a whim. I wish for you to take it, Annette. A wooden doll. And you used to make these for me when I was a child. I still do it. When the mood strikes. <laughs> it's so cute. It's... Wait. No. What do you want from me? I want nothing. I was carving and... I thought of you. I remembered how happy you would be as a child when I handed one of these dolls to you. I was back then, but I'm not a child anymore. It's too late for this now, Father. It doesn't make me happy anymore. Annette. I... I was so lonely after you left. I was always, always alone. I didn't know where you were or... Who to turn to for comfort? All I could do was look at the dolls you carved for me and remember you. And weep. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. It is all the same in the end. I am sorry, Annette. I should have given more thought to my actions. Father, wait! No, this won't do at all. It would be better to throw this doll away. You are too cruel, Father. Of course I... I could never throw it away. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. My absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Oh, my favorite food. You've got to try this. After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Of course. This could be useful. This one. Wow. I 
Your Thanks. Yes. I'd like to confirm something with you. Understood. Teacher. Thank you for inviting me. You have my thanks. What a lovely fragrance. Uh, yes? Thank you for the delicious tea. I'd be happy to join you again whenever you like. I'm gonna do the best I can do. We can have success with each other. We didn't do too bad, did we?
I have some ex let me consider how the I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Be liking that greatly. Oh, my favorite food. You've got to try this. looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. Eating food always fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! You just... This? After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. Oh, exquisite! This is exactly the meal I've been craving. Thank you. 
That looks appetizing. This is nearly as delicious. This looks delicious. This is my favorite. This is my most favorite dish of all. I love it almost as much as Crestology itself. Oh, my head. Where... Why am I here instead of the infirmary? When did I... Oh, boy. How are you feeling, Professor Manuela? So vain? What do you need at this hour? You don't remember? Well, you collapse in the infirmary, and... That doesn't sound like me. Wait, no, I remember. The truth is, something sad happened. So I did what I always do to forget my troubles. Anyway, I found you passed out on the floor, helped you up, then carried you back here. And what were you doing in the infirmary late at night? Not bringing a girl there, I hope. No, nope, I was definitely alone. I just, you know, I just had a bad feeling, and I decided to look around to see if anyone needed my help. Oh, my poor head. Are you alright? Here, have some water. What a thoughtful young man you are. You're a real gentleman, compared to that jerk who just... That good-for-nothing guy who strung you along, whispered sweet nothings in your ear, then shattered your heart beyond repair? I agree. He's a jerk. Oh no. Did I say those things to you? Actually, your version had more details. Very detailed details. Oh dear. You know, Professor, you're a good catch. It's a shame that you've had no luck with men. You need a guy like me. Somebody who sees your beauty and appreciates how tender you are, emotionally, and how much love you have to give. You're a smooth talker, even when you don't mean what you say. I'm going to change, so shoot, okay? Sure, sure, I can take a hint. Rest up, Manuela. Thank you, Sylvain. I'm going to try and get some sleep. Just call me Manuela and not Professor? That sly little... Although... Hmm... Me? With Sylvain? Now there's a crazy thought. And that should explain it. Did you understand all of that, young Annette? I did, thank you very much. Oh, but I was also wondering about this part here. It seems a bit off. Questioning something like this is proof that your understanding has grown. Most impressive. Sit there, and I'll put this on the blackboard so you may copy it into your notes for later study. Wonderful, I can't wait. I believe that should explain everything, yes? Any further questions? None. Thank you so much. Ah, I feel so great. I'm really sorry for taking up so much of your time, though. Not at all. Not at all. Your intellectual curiosity is marvelous to see. And you have a top-notch character. Keep on as you are, and I sense a bright future for you. 
Really? That's so nice of you to say. I'll do my best. I'm honored to be your student. If only your friends would learn from your example. Yes, a classroom full of attentive, studious pupils would be quite refreshing after all these years. Have a good evening, Miss Annette, and do not hesitate to ask any other questions. I won't, thank you. Goodbye for now. Wait, you'll trip if you leave like that. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you. Bernadetta, please come out of your room. You've been in there for ages. You need to train. Um, no, sorry, not happening. I'm not playing around, Bernadetta. This training is absolutely crucial to the war. I don't care. I can't handle it today. Please leave. Why did you come here? Why did I come here? I didn't choose to join the academy. I was forced. Then more stuff happened, and I didn't have a say in any of it. So, here I am, somehow. I suppose not everyone has to be pleased about being here. But even so, Bernadetta, I'll ask one more time. Please come out of there. And I'll tell you one more time. It's not happening. Not right now. Not today. You leave me no alternative. If you're near the door, you'd better step away. <laughs> My door! Why? Now hurry along, Bernadetta. You've got lots of training to catch up on. Spare me! I'll train! I'll train! Just... Not with you. Anyone but you, please. Is that so? That presents a problem. I know we are two very different people. But whether or not you like me, we are on the same side and must learn to work together. It's not about any of that! If this is how you treat people on your own side, what do you do to your enemies? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. I did what was necessary to get you to comply. Nothing more. I do hope that the professor will be able to help you through the rest of your training. In the meantime, I will fix your door. Good luck. Um, oh, right, okay, good. That's enough. You're done for today. Right. Thanks. Are you feeling pain anywhere, Leonie? No. Sorry, I'm all right. Why are you apologizing? Because I can't hold my own against you. And on top of that, you have to worry about hurting me. I feel like I've let you down. Do you know what I meant when I said, you're done for today? Probably that I was about to keel over. No, it wasn't about your physical strength. I could tell that you didn't have the will to keep fighting. I've got plenty of will. No matter what I do, I can't win. Isn't that what you were thinking? If you think you can't win, you won't. Perhaps you already knew that. Good point. But never assume that you'll win. That is, don't underestimate your foe. At all times, you have to keep a clear head to make split-second decisions. In battle, mistakes are deadly. But I don't have a crest or a relic. How could I ever hope to beat you? If you put it like that, I'll fight barehanded, and I won't use my crest. Think you can win? Do your worst. Oh dear, I might have overdone it there. But I believe in her. I would be doing her a disservice if I pulled any punches. It's Leonie after all. She'll be back on her feet and charging at me before I know it. 
Apologies for bothering you so late. I just really wanted to speak with you. Thank you. You see, I've been feeling conflicted about my future. It may seem petty to worry about such things in the middle of a war like this. This isn't something I open up about with many people. Feeling such a sense of inner turmoil while a war rages on, and others are fighting with all they have, well, it feels a little selfish. The truth is, I've wanted to be a knight ever since I was a small child. Not just any knight, like one you might find serving within the castle guard, but a true knight, one serving a master. However, my father has always had different plans for me. He wants me to marry, for the benefit of the Galatea family. Defying my father feels... wrong. I've seen how he struggled over the years. His burden has always been far greater than any I've had to bear myself. While he fed me extravagant meals, he subsisted on meager portions and watered down soups. He never once complained, even though he must have been starving. Knowing his sacrifices, I've never been able to tell him of my dream of becoming a knight. Now that this war has begun, my father has allowed me to fight for my homeland. But even if I do become a knight, I feel an unease deep within me. I fear I will never escape this guilt I carry, that I have shunned my duty as a noble. To follow both my dream and my duty? I... I had never considered that as an option. Perhaps there is a way. <laughs> Even with the academy days long behind us, you're still a professor through and through. Always listening to others' troubles and offering up your wisdom. I really am grateful for all that you do for us, professor. I hope you'll always be here as a guide to everyone. I know I myself would appreciate that deeply. So I said, two can play at that game. I told him, a small-time little weasel like you ought to be begging me for attention. Oh, it gets me so mad, so worked up. Why aren't there any men around here who understand what a catch I am? Come to think of it, you've always been nice to me. I mean, you listen to all my problems. I feel like I can really trust you. I don't have that kind of thing with a lot of people. Right, I got it. I knew you'd say we were just friends. I'd like to maybe talk about this once the war is over. Once we're all safe. Alright, enough of this moping around. What we need is a change of mood. We've still got a lot to do together. When I think about that, what are one or two men? <laughs> What's wrong is, it's not just one or two men, it's more like 100 men, maybe even 200, more! I'm... I'm completely... Oh, I can't get out of this mood! Actually, 
I've got an idea. Exercise will help. I'm going to the training ground. Come on and give me a hand. Then I'll work my anger out on 100 training dummies. Maybe 200 if we've got them. I've learned a lot. I understand. That was... I'm fine. That was... Looks like... Ah! That was... Got it. One step. I have you are your you have my.
Professor, please do not be concerned. I just did too much overworking and lost my strength. Yes, I have no problems. Accept my apology for giving you worry. I have sorrow. Uh, I mean, I am sorry to be fainting at a time like this. Even though I was not asking for your care and attention, you gave it willingly. I am thinking that is incorrect. Will you have a listen to me? There is something that I must be saying. I am thinking you already have knowledge of why I came to Fulglin. Not for studying, but as a hostage for the Empire. So that Bridget would not be rebelling anymore. It feels like... a knife against my throat. That I am making my grandfather obey the Empire. If I were running away from the Empire, then Bridget would be defeated. I am not having any options. To be living. I must be fighting to win. For Bridget to be living. The Empire needs to be crushed. So I must be crushing the Empire. That is what my people are wanting from me. And what my grandfather, the King of Bridget, is wanting. My want? I... I am not knowing of that. The wants of my people are something I have power to achieve. Their wants are my own. What I really want... I have understanding. Wait, no, I... I actually do not have understanding. Yet. What I am understanding is that there is something I am not understanding. When I know what my true want is, I give you my promise that I will be telling you first. I am sorry you could find no one but me to share your tea with. I shall endeavor to hold up my end of the conversation nonetheless. You ought not to have gone to such lengths to prepare my preferred tea. Allow me to express my deepest thanks. My hands are trembling. Yes. I may weep. I dare not allow myself the luxury of sweets. When I do eat them, it is only with the utmost reluctance. I may weep. <laughs> Does the sun's glare not vex you? Perhaps it's better if we went inside. If you have a favor to ask, name it. I shall make myself useful in any way you require. I shall take my leave now. I hope that I have not wasted too much of your time. Pardon me, Professor. We're all done. Yeah, I understand now. All that work was worth it. It's starting to feel like a part of me.
I'm really getting the hang of it. Perseverance is the key. I think I've got the idea. Could be useful. I'm almost tired of learning new things.
Ah, shucks. I guess I did it.